record. Okay, so now if I start share screen, I think it will be recorded. So let's go back to again share screen. So the, I'll go back to my Excel, okay. And it's recording, I think at this point. So now what we see here, so, uh, and when we end this recording, I will uh, share it with you. So what we want to do here is we want to get this uh, mutual funds file and we want to get frequencies. And we have some categorical variables here. We have uh, the large cap, mid cap and small cap. We have growth or value. And also we have risk here, low risk, average risk and high risk. So there are different ways that we can get frequencies but the most straightforward is if we use this uh, pivot table functionality. And what we need to do in order to use the pivot table is to go to insert here, which is, you know, since this is a Turkish version, it's Ekle. And we get, we click on basically the pivot table. Okay. Now the pivot table automatically shows us an interval, a selection data selection. Okay, and this data selection is from A1 to H869. So this defines my data. And if I'm satisfied with it, I keep it. If I'm not, I can enter the new values. But this uh, selection covers my, uh, the selection covers my entire data. So I'm satisfied with the selection. And I say, okay, all right, so, now, and I want to take your faces because it covers the area. Okay, maybe over here. So I have possibilities here for inclusion in the pivot table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with category and I'm gonna bring it to row labels. Here I have row labels, okay? And I'm gonna bring it to just drag and drop basically to row labels and it just now gives me large cap, mid cap and small cap. Okay, so now, uh, but there's nothing here, of course, I can't use it. So what I'll do now is I also will get the category and put it into values. Değerler is values. Okay, so again, a drag and drop. Now, what did I get? I got the frequencies uh, of the types of the mutual funds. Okay, so how many large cap, how many mid cap, and how many small cap uh, do I have? So it seems like of the 868, I have 450, I have 174, and I have 244 small cap. Now from this table that I constructed, it's a summary table, it's one dimensional, from this table that I constructed, I can also create some graphs, okay? So I can create uh, some uh, bar charts or pie charts from this, uh, these frequencies. But this is one way that I could get frequencies using the pivot table functionality. So the pivot table, now that this is a one-way summary table. So I get the frequencies of one variable. By the way, the, sigma sign here on the right lower corner and it says values there but i can change it so i can actually uh, click on that and i can click on uh, the value settings and i can basically choose anything that i want so currently it's a frequency because this is a categorical variable but if I had some numerical variables there, I could also get into averages, the maximum, the minimum, the product, standard deviation, uh, and etc. and some other uh, labels. So currently I'm satisfied with the count, so I'm only getting the count. So this is a one-way summary table. In our slide, we had the summary table of reasons for shopping online. And basically that's how they created. If I want a different one, instead of category, so maybe I want objective. So 
and I say objective and I bring it here. And now I have how many funds uh, I have for growth? 464 funds, which are labeled as growth and 404, which are labeled as value. So it's not enough. How do I do the two dimensional version of this? So let's also do the two dimensional version. So with objective, I also want to uh, add the category, but I want to add the category in the columns. So it says column labels. So when I carry category all the way down to where it says column labels, Sütun etiquette, maybe, category is brought down here. I can leave the values frequency of objective as it is. So I now have a two dimensional. Uh, cross tabulation. So I now have the contingency table. So how many funds are both growth and large cap at the same time? How many funds are growth and mid cap at the same time? Growth and small cap at the same time. Value and small cap. Value and mid cap at the same time. So this is nice. So uh, actually now at this point, and I can do this. So what about I unclick category and I bring here uh, risk. Sorry, I bring here risk. So now I have a contingency table with uh, growth and value, which are labeled as average risk, high risk, low risk, and average risk and value, high risk and value. And it seems, for example, that the growth stocks, 302 of them, which is a large fraction, and I can convert these into fractions as well. Would be easy to do that. Row fractions, column fractions, or total fractions are highly labeled as high risk. 302 of them are labeled as high risk, whereas the value mutual funds, actually uh, almost half of them are low risk, and almost again, close to half of them are average risk with a small number being labeled as so what else can I do? Now there's an interesting feature of these uh, pivot tables. So if you click, for example, these 53 funds, maybe you need a list of them, right? High risk and value. Now, interesting thing is if you click here, it brings you actually uh, a list of the small cap and value. And you can use it. There are 53 funds right here. So if you're interested in what these 53 funds are, it creates a table, separate sheet, uh, containing uh, these, uh, uh, the subgroup. So it's a nice function of pivot table as well. Another thing I'll demonstrate it, this wasn't in our, uh, in our slides, but uh, instead of having the count of objective here, I want to take it out and I want to bring here the five-year return, okay? Now, automatically this gives me the sum of the five-year return. For me, that's a bit meaningless. So I want to change it the average of the five-year return. So why did I do this? And the reason I did this is because I want to see what group of funds actually gives me a higher return if I put my investment in here. So when I, when I look at this, and some of you can also maybe observe, uh, observe that, and you can also play with, by the way, uh, uh, we can actually, if you don't want if too many decimals, you can just uh, change it to two decimals. So it looks nicer, I mean, if you're reporting this, sorry? Question? Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's actually what I wanted to tell you, or what I wanted to show. Uh, now, what we can do is we can, for example, see what group of funds uh, actually are uh, giving me highest. So 10.99 value and average, that gives me, I think, the highest. And the lowest is high and growth. So uh, that's what I wanted to tell you. And uh, so let's, let's go back to 